Throughout the history of the music industry, there have been plenty of bands that have come and gone from the public consciousness for one reason or another. Although what happens when a band takes that time old mantra of fake it till you make it so far that you can't help but watch the implosion happen? No is ever much like me, you see and it feels so good to know that things aren't always as they seem so Hi, I'm Propy JN and welcome to Beyond the Screen. Today we're having a look at the band Threaten. Threaten was a one-man band fronted by Jared Threaten, who gained notoriety in 2018 for allegedly faking a tour. But the story of Jared doesn't just stop there, ladies and gentlemen. To accomplish this tour of Europe, he did some of the most unthinkable things. It's hard to actually fathom that they're true. To accomplish this tour, Jared had to do many things, including fabricating an entire record company with fake bands signed up on its roster to purchasing views and subscribers to boost his social media accounts, and faking his own promotion company as well. So, in 2018, Threaten booked a European tour for the band, claiming to have a substantial fan base and a strong online following. He created social media accounts and websites showcasing images and videos of seemingly packed concerts with enthusiastic fans. However, it was later revealed that there was no online following, there was no ticket sales, and there was no fan engagement at all. Everything was a lie. When Threaten and his band arrived in Europe for the tour, the venues that had been duped were now facing a very harsh reality. Nobody knows who this fucking band is and it became very evident very quickly that the majority of the online fan base was non-existent. So the band had flown over to the UK telling venues that they were selling 150 to 200 tickets for each show. And the venues would just watch in disbelief as this band would get up on stage and play in front of no audience at all. Oh, but it doesn't stop there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go a little bit further. As of Friday, uh, Joe, Gavin, and myself, we, we left the tour. Um, I'm currently staying in Ireland with uh, family uh, just until I can get back uh, and get a ticket home to Vegas. Uh, Joe is, is in Vegas right now. He already flew back. Um, he was able to get a ticket home. Um, Gavin is staying with uh, Jared just so he can get uh, the originally scheduled ticket uh, that was supposed to get us all home. Um, so he'll be heading back on the original scheduled flight. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's reached out to us and every uh, person working at the venue, the staff, uh, all the venues for you know being very professional and um i just want you know first and foremost to let everyone know that uh joe and gavin and i uh we had no idea we were blindsided by uh everything that came up on friday and um joe and gavin are great people uh very talented musicians and um yeah, you know, I. It's it's shocking, and we're trying to wrap our heads around, you know, what happened. To make it an even weirder story, in 2019, after the massive backlash that was received online and the outpouring of hate for this band and for Threaten himself, the session musicians that were booked on this European tour started to sue. The bandmates were suing for loss of income and travel expenses as a result of this tour. However, how many times can I say that in one video? To make it even stranger, in 2019, Threaten himself and his quote unquote band returned to London. They did a live show at the Camden Underground where they had previously been one year earlier playing to no one in attendance 
This time though, with all of the controversy surrounding their last visit, they reportedly sold 60 tickets. Now, most of which were to journalists and bewildered Londoners who were just trying to get a glimpse of what the hell this band was all about. Reportedly, in a 45 minute set, only five people remained until the end. And this show reportedly consisted of some of the weirdest shit you've ever seen a band do on stage. Apparently there were mannequins just wearing shirts that said fake band written on them. There was apparently a blow up doll that made an appearance with the words BBC written on the shirt. Since that 2019 performance in London, all of his social media accounts have laid dormant. The threatened website has not been updated since 2019 and the promise of a documentary in 2019 about this whole event has never come to fruition. It's very clear that Threaten tried to take the mantra of fake it till you make it to a whole new level, and it has since become just a weird cautionary tale in the music industry about the dangers of trying to deceive and manipulate audiences. I just want to say thank you for watching this first episode of Beyond the Screen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm trying to pick out some interesting topics that you guys might not have heard of or that you have heard of and you just want to hear a bit more about. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd like me to cover next. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.